I hear shots coming on the low from holes I'm hiding This attention is so flattering cause they admire it Don't know what's on their mind but it should be the time Hey love, so as you guys can see from the title below This is going to be my full review on my iPhone XS Max I do have the silver one So, you guys I'm probably going to title this video, Do Not Buy the iPhone X Max, because so many people are saying that it's not a good phone, you should not buy the phone, but I will tell you guys my experience I've had with this phone. I took down some things that I wish Apple would fix about this phone, but before I get started, I want to let you guys know this is my second phone. I did have to go to Apple and get the phone replaced last week. I'm sure you guys saw my Snapchat that I was in Apple and one of the reasons were to get my phone replaced um, and the reason I got my phone replaced was because when I got on I updated to the latest iOS 12 point whatever and after I did the updates maybe I updated it too soon maybe I should have waited a week um, because it did not give me any problems or anything like that prior to the other update that I had did so I just thought okay well maybe it just happened because of the update so I noticed when I'm on FaceTime my photo like the portion of my phone which clearly me it was black you couldn't even see my face and then sometimes it would be black on the other person's end so I couldn't see them they couldn't see me they couldn't hear me I couldn't hear them so that's why I had to get my phone um, replaced because I talk to a lot of companies overseas. I deal with a lot of businesses overseas and we do FaceTime and we do Skype and stuff like that. So I do have to have a phone that has to work on FaceTime. So that was the only reason why I had to get the phone replaced. It was working just fine. Everything else worked just fine. All my notifications was coming through. Everything was working just fine. It just, my FaceTime just wouldn't work. And that was pretty much it. I went in there. I had called T-Mobile and told them, like, what's going on with the phone. I set up an appointment. I went out there, and that was it. I've had this phone, and everything is working perfectly fine. FaceTime and everything. So, I want to tell you guys some things about the phone right quick that I notice because you guys know I do have the A plus as well and I do have the Galaxy S9 plus and a lot of you guys keep asking me am I going to get the Note 9 no I'm not I'm happy with the Galaxy S9 plus so the things I don't like about this phone I'll go ahead and say first I don't like that there's no fast charging adapter in the box um I did notice that this this phone is capable of fast charging, but I would think Apple, if you are charging someone $10.99 for a phone plus tax is almost $12. It is over $1,200. This phone was over $1,200. You would think there would be something extra in the box that you would give to the people who are spending over $1,000 for a phone. I've said it over and over again. Even when I had the iPhone X, I took it back within like seven days. It was just too small for me. I don't like small phones. So it was a good phone. The X is still a good phone. But the thing I noticed about the iPhone X when I went into Apple, there's no deals on the phone. Like usually when a phone comes out new, the prices drop on the other phones. I noticed in Apple, the iPhone X is still $9.99. So for $100 more, for $10.99, you can get a newer phone, better display, better camera, a bigger display, and better speakers, better everything. Well, I'll tell you guys about that for $100 more. So I really do think they should have dropped the price on the X. I just think $9.99 is still too much for that little phone, but yet it's still a good phone. That's just something I noticed while I was in the store. So I don't like the fact that it doesn't have the adapter in the box. You got to spend some more money to get that. I think I already spent over $1,000 for a phone. One thing I do not like about this phone, you guys, is the percentage portion of the phone. Like you have to go in your phone 
I'll show you guys. You have to go in your phone. I'm trying to change. Let me change my wallpaper because my wallpaper is 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 not PG 13 ish. Um, you know what? Let me just. I'll just put a picture up here of me and my daughter for now because it's 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 not PG 13. So yeah, let me do that. I'll just ch change it to a simple wallpaper. Okay. So like right here. You can't see the percentage in the corner. Like you just can't glance at your phone like you can do the eights and all the other phones and just see your percentage at the top. You were able to go in. Now, when you first got your phone, you did have to go in and add it to the top where you can see the percentage. Now you got to go in here, unlock the phone, and then pull the screen down to see the percentage. I don't know if I got time for that. Like, I don't have time for that. It's just a little feature. It's nothing major, but small things do matter if you're making a phone cost more than $1,000. The speakers at the bottom, I noticed, were not even. It's so weird. I'm not sure what's up with that. Like, that's kind of weird here. I don't know what's up with that. But I will say the speakers on this phone is definitely louder than the speakers on my 8 max not my 8 max <laughs> on my 8 um plus another thing i will say this phone you have to hold it in a in a in a case it's very slippery so if i were to take my phone out and just hold it like this i find myself like I have to catch myself from sometimes, what the fuck, I have to catch it sometimes because it'll slip out of my hands. Um, I have dropped this phone like three times, but it wasn't a case. I do have a tempered glass on my phone, so it saved me. But if I didn't have a tempered glass on this phone, I didn't have a case on this phone, this phone is definitely drop friendly. Now, I will say from the X I had compared to... This one, the X is more slippery than this one. This one does have more of a grip on it than the X. Maybe because it's bigger and it feels good in, in my hands. Um, so it is less slippery than the X. I will say that. The landscape mode is very limited on this phone, you guys. So you know like on the 8 Plus, you can turn it sideways. Um, let me show you guys. So like on the 8 Plus... You can turn it sideways. Let's just say if I was in a message. I'll just go to a message or whatever with Khalil. Okay, so see how it looks like this? And I can turn it to the side like this, okay? That's my little emoji. I was sending it to Kalia. So as you guys can see, landscape, landscape mode is on here. But if you go to the front, or my phone doesn't do it. I don't know if your phone does and mine doesn't do it. If you go here and you try to do it like this on here, you can't do that. So it is very limited on like the display, like the home screen and stuff like that, which I thought was not a big deal. But I mean, if you're wanting to get the full effect out of your phone, then you want everything to work in landscape mode. Another thing, when I did my, um, I don't know if it was the unboxing or I, I don't know what video I did. And I had said that I don't like the fact that when you're in different apps like YouTube or Netflix and the, the screen size, like it shrinks. You have the size on each side. Like if you had an iPhone 8 Plus, you have the lines. It's like black on this side and black on this side. You have to pinch to have a fuller display. I still don't like that. Like, it's just me. Like, everybody like what they like and don't like what they like. Me, personally, I think once you press the zoom, I notice that it, it takes away from the display of the phone. And also, it makes it look kind of foggy looking on Netflix. Now, on YouTube, it looks clear. But on Netflix, it does look kind of blurry. So, that's why I was complaining. Like, why would they make a phone be the max? And you, you have to pinch it in. It should have already been like that. Also, you guys, 
I do not like the fact that on the sides of the phone, like it may not be a big deal to you. I'm just telling you guys what I noticed. I don't like the fact that on the sides it's black. Like I would have preferred the whole screen to be completely the 6.5 display. If it's going to be the whole, like let me show you guys. I'll swipe up and I'll just go to a blank note. So as you guys can see, you still have like on the sides is black. All this should have came to the edge. All this should have came all the way out, which gets me to this notch. The notch is still there, even though it's on the plus, it's not that noticeable. Yes, it is that noticeable. I hate the top notch on the phone. Does it make it as noticeable if you had an X? No, because you have a bigger screen. They did try to, I'll show you guys, Apple tried to hide it when they did it like this. I'll show you guys, so I just changed it. So if you look and see, they tried to make the top part black so you can like kind of have that feeling that the top notch is gone, but it's really not gone because clearly it's still there. So they tried to make it black at the top so you can kind of think it's not there, but really in reality it is because anytime you're going into any other icons or any other apps, I mean, you're going to be able to tell that top notch is there. It, it, there's no way around it. What Apple should do is just take the notch off completely. There has to be, this is a trillion dollar company, like a billion dollar, million dollar company. There has to be a way you guys can go in here and fix it to where this top notch is completely gone and the, the display goes out all the way to the edge and then this would really be a real true 6.5 display because that is not what we're getting. And I'm speaking from a buying customer. I'm not a YouTuber who Apple sends phones to and I gotta just act like I just really love this phone. No, I'm a buyer, okay? And I'm just giving you my review from my perspective and things that I wish they would change because right now, the Max to me is just like an upgraded X. It's, you know, but if you're someone coming from like a five, six, or a seven, it's definitely an upgrade. If you had the X, I definitely would not get the Max unless you just wanted a bigger screen and, you know, a better camera and stuff like that. The camera on here is very, very good. I don't really like the front face camera. To me, it seems like when you're on Snapchat, it just seems like the phone is this close to your face when you are really this far from the phone like when i'm on snapchat i'm not sure if you guys have noticed but i'm literally holding the phone like this but when i'm recording it looks on my phone like i'm this close and i'm really not this close so i'm not sure what that's about on the camera I do know that when I'm using my front face camera, it does make me look like I'm kind of photoshopped. I don't like that. I kind of like the whole natural look. If I want to do anything to my face to fix anything, like maybe a pimple or if I wanted to smooth out like my um, highlight or my blush or something like that or make my um, like make a pop i know how to go on different apps and do that i don't want to look photoshopped like when i'm taking a picture because it is not that good of a quality now the back camera is amazing hands down 10 out of 10 i absolutely love the camera uh, i actually thought about doing a few vlogs on this phone so you can just see how the camera quality works on this phone the front face and the back i was going to try to do it in 4k so i may still do that if i'm out and about going somewhere and things like that but overall i do think this phone is really good i haven't had any problems with this phone except for the face um time and i just went and got another phone as a simple fix do I think this phone is worth $1,200? So that's how much it is out here in Texas. I paid $1,200 for this phone. I don't think it's worth $1,200. Seriously, I just don't think $1,200. I think 
$8.99 would have been a good price for this phone. You know, you can use a wireless charger. They didn't add that in there. They didn't add the dongle. Everyone was like, oh my God, you're complaining about a dongle? Yes, bitch. I'm complaining about a dongle because I expect to have everything in the box that I have with my 8 Plus and more. And that phone was like $800. So you would think if you're spending $1,200 for a phone, you would think apple would throw something in there but apple is so money hungry they don't listen to their buying customers like they don't really listen like dear apple please fix the top notch please remove that out of this phone please make sure the screen goes all the way out please make make sure that the speakers on each side is even Please take pride in your work besides just throwing phones out there just to say this is a new phone. Because everyone cannot afford a thousand dollar phone. Like, think about it if you were a buying customer. You know, like, in my business, I always set stuff up at a reasonable, you know, like, for me. Because I like to roll on a budget. And so you have to think about people that live normal everyday lives not just people in the corporate world who can have money to just splurge and throw on anything you know just for fun everyone cannot do that so i do think 8.99 would have been a fair price not only 8.99 also throw in at least a pair of the wireless bluetooth you guys know i have a pair of the airpods that i paid 200 dollars for maybe if you're going to have a phone that's a thousand dollars Throw in a hundred dollars. I think they're like 180. Throw those in there to give us a surprise. Or throw in the fast charging adapter that makes the phone charge quicker. No, you gotta go to Apple and spend like 50, 60, 70 dollars. Why don't you throw in a wireless charger to give your buyer something extra? Because right now you're not doing anything different in the box. The box comes with the same thing all the other phones have came with, and it's missing the dongle. So it's like we're losing, we're not gaining. The only thing Apple is gaining is our money. So I'm just coming from a buyer's point of view. I do love this phone. You guys know I love phones. I like to get the phones that I think is good for me. Um, do I think this is a good phone for $1,200? No, $899, yes. Um, do I think Apple will fix some of the features? We can only hope and wait till next year. Um, you know, I really do think the top notch can be gone. Simple. Like, goodbye. It don't need to be there. There are so many ways they can go in here and fix the phone. And that's just my quick review. Um, and that's pretty much it. I do love this phone. Out of 1 to 10, I would definitely give this phone probably a 9. Only because I don't like the FaceTime. I don't like the new FaceTime update. I think it sucks on this phone. You have to do too much. Before the 12th, whatever update that came out, um, not this last time, the time before that, I think it was a 12.1, I'm not sure, don't quote me. But, you know, FaceTime was so original, it was easy to use, user-friendly, you just click it off and, you know, if you want someone to see you, just turn it around and see something else. Now, you literally have to go in here on FaceTime, click the thing at the top, push it down, Click something else to turn around. It's just too much. Sometimes simple is the best way to go. And when I first got an iPhone from, I always have had Android and iPhone. So I'm not like, fuck Android or fuck Apple. I'm, I'm, I love them both. But when I switched one of my Androids out for an iPhone, I believe it was an iPhone 6 at the time. I went with Apple because of the simplicity that it brings. Android is more, you know, they have way more settings. They give you a lot of options. You have a lot of settings on Android, especially Galaxies. Um, and now it seems like Apple is trying to jump on the bandwagon and do so many more things when Apple is for the simplicity. Like if they could do anything inside of this phone, that they could change back to the way it was. I know I'm not the only one that thinks the new FaceTime sucks. Like, don't even call me FaceTime. Just call me regular. Because the way this FaceTime is set up, it, it literally 
glitches sometimes. It didn't glitch on this phone. It glitched on my other phone. So let me say that. Let me throw it out there. When I'm somewhere, except for instance, I'm on the phone with my daughter or anyone with an iPhone and I'm somewhere and I'm like, oh, let me show you this. You got to pull the screen down, flip it over and do all the extra shit before they can see it. When before you could just click the top and it flips around just like that. You're doing too much. And yet you're still raising the price and we're not getting anything but updates. That is the truth. I know some of you guys have to agree with me. Some of you guys are not going to agree because you love Apple. Apple can sell you guys shit in a box and you'd be like, oh my God, I love it. Not me. So that's pretty much my review. I do love this phone. And it's crazy because like my daughter, she has an A plus on her Christmas wish list. She didn't even have this phone on here this year. Usually they get a phone every year for Christmas. My son actually had the X. Max on his Christmas wish list and he switched his out at the last minute now to the iPhone XR so you know I don't think this phone is worth $1,200 that is my review and that's that you guys asked me to give you guys like a month update um and I was like you know what the phone just came out in September I'll wait to November to do it so I can really have the phone to give you guys my real true review on this phone so that's pretty much it if you guys are not subscribed definitely subscribe let me know how you guys are loving your x max let me know if you have the phone let me know if you're thinking about getting it for christmas just let me know your thoughts and opinions down below let me know if you're liking your new facetime let me know i don't know i use them emoji sometimes not that often so it is what it is so today's post notification shout out goes to I'm Shaq. Thank you so much for clicking on the bell to be notified when I upload a video and putting done in the comments down below. If you guys want to receive a post notification shout out, definitely do not forget to click on the bell, click on the bell, click on the bell so you guys can be notified when I upload a video. And just put done in the comment section. That way I know you want to be someone who gets shouted out in my next upcoming video. So you guys, I will have some of my recent videos linked down below. If you guys want to see those videos, definitely go check them out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also, let me know if you guys want me to do, you know what? I'm not going to even ask. Stay tuned for all my upcoming videos. I love you guys so, so much. And until next time, you guys, bye. Baby, your picture perfect. Your smile, God made it perfect. Don't